Hey Matt, my name is Devin from SEO Dallas TX. In this quick video, I'm going to be giving you three pieces of advice that you can follow right away so you can start ranking higher and getting more phone calls from Google. Specifically, I'm going to show you how to beat Frisco Roofing LLC because if you type in Frisco Roofing, you see they come up number one and there's a lot of phone calls with being there and I'll show you how to beat them. I also know that you serve all of DFW. I just chose Frisco to show you how much money you can make with a small target market so you can expand later. Anyways, you're probably wondering why I would even make this video for you. It's really simple. There's a lot of small business owners out there that are so busy running their business, taking care of their customers, completing jobs. They don't have the time to learn how to make the internet bring them more of those jobs. And the only thing stopping them from hiring somebody is they don't know who is an expert and who's not. So what I started doing was creating these attack plans and giving them away for free. Some people take this information and they just do it themselves. Some people say, hey Devin, I like you I just don't have the time to do this can you do it for me whatever you want to do with this information is totally okay with me my only goal for you is to educate you and help you make a lot of money I'm gonna be talking to you about three things today content backlinks and citations I want to start by saying though you did an awesome job with the design of your website really nice color scheme going on beautiful image right from the get-go it shows like a modern look modern clean design on your website nice parallax scrolling a lot of animations going on here from a design point of view this is one of the most beautiful roofing sites I've ever seen and I'm not just blowing smoke. This is really, really nice. Now, what Google, and it just keeps going, what Google mostly cares about when it comes to ranking your website is this stuff right here. It's called content. It's everything that you can read on the site, everything you can highlight. So that includes what your images are saved as too. <clears throat> the more content you have, the better. Content is king in this industry. And it's how Google tells if you are an authority in your industry. And then it also looks for what's called keywords. I'll explain that in a second here. But you want to have at a starting point about 1,500 words of content on your homepage to be considered an authority and to be optimized with Google. So if I copy all of your content and I paste it into Word Counter, you may be right around there. So you're only at 556 words. So it's a good starting point, but there's definitely some room for improvement. If we go look at Frisco Roofing LLC, we copy all their stuff. And we can see they're at 583. I wouldn't even say they're beating you with this. It's so dang close. But the good news is, is you guys, you by getting yourself to 1,500 words, you're going to blow them out of the water, show Google that you are the authority, and it's going to give you more room to fit in buyer intent keywords. If you're wondering what a buyer intent keyword is, it's just a phrase that somebody commonly types into Google when they're ready to purchase from you. And I've actually pulled up a list of some very common ones. So Frisco Roofing has 200 searches every single month. Roofing Frisco TX has 100 every month. Frisco Roofing Contractors, 90. Roofing Frisco, 80. Frisco Roofing Company, 70. So you can see just with these five keywords, that's 300. 390, uh, 470, 540. So just with five keywords, that's 540 searches. Imagine month after month, if you were in front of 540 people who are already ready to purchase roofs, that would be awesome, right? Imagine how much money you would make. And that's just in the Frisco area. That doesn't include Dallas, Fort Worth, none of that stuff. You can make a ton of money just in your hometown, not having to drive very far. So you want to take these keywords and you want to put them inside of your content. And if I go here and I put in like, for example, uh, roofing Frisco TX or Frisco roofing, you can see you don't have that anywhere on your home page. So that's one of the another tip with content is you want to make sure that you put your keywords in there a couple times. All five of those or even more, the more you put the better. I would put them throughout. Just make sure they make sense. So like, you know, we provide the Frisco roofing you can rely on or we provide the roofing Frisco TX residents can depend upon or something like that, you know? Also, you can save your images as keywords. So this could be saved right here as Frisco Roofing, and that'll also help you rank for that keyword. So that's my first tip for you regarding content. My second tip for you is called backlinks. A backlink is when another website is linking to your website, driving traffic to your website. This is really important because Google's like a popularity contest. So you want to see a bunch of trustworthy, relevant websites linking to your website, driving traffic to your website. Keep in mind, though, like I said, they want to see trustworthy, relevant websites. Not all backlinks are created created equal, which means you're going to get a lot more of a result if you have other roofing and other construction and windows and siding companies linking to you versus having like Pizza Hut linking to you. Google knows you're not a pizza company. So the tool that I use to check out backlinks is called Ahrefs. It is a paid tool, but you don't have to use it. There's plenty of free tools out there. And I'm going to explain what you're seeing here. It says you currently have six backlinks coming from four different websites. You're being found for two keywords and they're estimating that you get zero traffic from it. They could be wrong. It's an estimate. The only way to know your actual traffic is having access to your Google Analytics and it looks like you're only being found for your own names. So, on the opposite end of the spectrum, looking at Frisco Roofing, they have 112 backlinks coming from 36 different sites, but their estimated traffic is 542, and Ahrefs oftentimes under-reports by 5 to 10 times, which means they could be getting anywhere from about 2,500 to 5,400 traffic to their website every single month. Could you imagine how much money and how many phone calls you'd be getting if you had 5,400 people 
hitting your website every single month, already looking for roofs, it's a lot. And you might be asking, well, how the heck do I beat them? It's super easy. They actually already did all the hard work for you. If these 36 websites are, en are good enough to get them ranked number one, then they're good enough to get you ranked number one too. So what I would do is I would just go one by one and copy every single link they got. Every single link I'd go onto the website and put a link on that website to point it back to you. A lot of times all you need to do is create a profile on the website and put a link in your profile to your homepage. That counts as a backlink. Sometimes you may have to go at the bottom of the blog, put a little comment and put a link to your page. That counts as a link. Sometimes you may have to contact the owner by clicking the contact us button and saying, hey, can I put a link on your site? Whatever they had to do though, if you follow, the, if you follow in their steps and get those exact same links pointing back to you, plus you beat them in content, with just those two tips alone, that's enough to get you ranked number one organically and get all the phone calls that come with being there. But I'm going to give you one last tip, and that's how to show up in the map pack. And the reason why is because this is where most traffic goes, and this is where the most calls come from. And getting here is really simple, and you can actually rank here faster. Getting here requires having more citations than your competitors. If you're wondering what a citation is, it's when you list your name, your address, and your phone number inside of a directory. And a directory is a website that allows you to list your business's information, such as like Yelp, Yext, Yellow Page, white pages Facebook Angie's list home advisor so what I would do if I were in your shoes is I'd figure out what directories Frisco roofing LLC is in there obviously you can see they're taking the top two spots I'd figure out what directories they're in I'd put myself in all those exact same directories just like you do with backlinks but then I'd add a bunch more on top so if you found them in like 150 directories I'd be putting myself in like 300 that's all I've got for you Matt I hope you found this informative and helpful. I tried to keep it short and to the point for you. I know you're very busy. As a super quick recap, you want at least 1,500 words of content on your homepage. You want to put keywords in there like Frisco Roofing, Roofing Frisco TX, and save your images as those keywords. Then you want to copy all the links from your main competitor, Frisco Roofing, th the 36 websites, get them linking back to yourself. And then put your name, address, and phone number in more directories in Frisco Roofing LLC. If you follow these three tips alone, that's enough to get you ranked to the number one spot in all of Google and start getting all the phone calls and all the business that comes with that. You're probably asking, what do I do now? You've got two options. The first option is to take this information and do it yourself. The sooner you get started, the sooner you rank to the top of Google, and the sooner you start seeing explosive growth. If you have any questions, or if you say, you know what, Devin? I want this done for me, but I don't have the time to. Feel free to give me a call at any time. I put my phone number right here at the bottom right, 972-309-9939. I'd be happy to hear your goals and give you a free attack plan on how you can move forward on that on your own. Either way, I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. I look forward to hearing your feedback, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thanks, Matt. Bye.